hope you see what's happening on screen. What I'm currently doing is I'm drawing not in a standard color palette. Uh, I'm using a kind of custom color palette and today will be a deep dive into advanced features of the color menu. Uh, so welcome to our next eye ornament drawing tutorial. Uh, so first of all, you may wonder how to get this custom palette here. Uh, well, there are many predefined nice palettes and the easiest way to access them is to simply flip through them. So if you look at that menu up there, uh, there is a possibility just to uh, look which different kind of colors are there. So for instance, there is one nice uh, color palette uh, featuring different shades of black and white. So let me just use that for a little drawing and uh, using that you can create a well, simple monochromatic pictures uh, with different shades of black and white and you know I'm a great fan of monochromatic pictures and this is the easiest way perhaps to access a black and white palette here. Uh, so you may also ask uh, how to get an overview over all the palettes and the easiest thing is to press this button here. Uh, this opens a menu that uh, shows all the possible palettes uh, that are created so far. iOrnament comes with a pre-selection of already pre-existing color palettes, uh, uh, but you also see there is plenty of space for creating your own custom color palettes. And how to do that? Uh, for that, you press this little U icon here, and then you get this menu here. And f at first sight, it may look like a whole bunch of black, but the concept behind it is the following. You have a palette here and you may want to modify that. So you can load that into the palette editor by fetch palette. Uh, then you can click one of the colors here and you can modify this color as soon as this little square is a little bit bigger uh, than it's in the editing mode. And so you can say, I want to have, uh, well, I prefer some kinds of different shades of yellow. Here you can modify the brightness and you can create your own custom palette here. After you are content with this palette, you can say, I want to use this palette. And then it asks you whether you want to overwrite the old one uh, or create a new one. I want to create a new one. And then you can turn this thing off and uh, draw in that palette, which actually, it's a nice one that I created here at the moment. Um, there's also a more direct way uh, to deal with these colors. So uh, this little round button here serves as a kind of center point of uh, the color menu. So first of all, if you have a color here, you can drag it to any palette spot uh, where you want to have it. But you can also use it directly. Uh, if it's highlighted, then you have exactly the color you've chosen here uh, as your drawing color. So you have a very direct way to deal with these colors. Uh, and if you don't prefer uh, to use the color wheel here, you can also switch to RGB sliders and uh, play with them. So that's perhaps the easiest way uh, to go through different kinds of U values uh, by simply using the U slider up there. There's one more feature that I really love. Uh, so we had a very nice yellow here and a very nice red here. And perhaps we want to have a gradient between these two colors. Then you can simply press your finger or pen on the first color track to the second one, release, and in between you get a set of gradients here. So uh, let me define two sets of gradients here. Uh, so let's 
take one that goes from here to oh okay well well also to our red because that's a nice nice very harmonic uh palette here let's use this palette let's create a new one and so you see why we have our color palette up here and uh let's just finish by drawing a mandala using uh this color palette and I think that's enough for today. Have fun doodling. Uh, I really recommend to work through the color menus because there are plenty of opportunities in there and we see us in our next drawing tutorial.